This was our first time out at CES. And boy, did we have fun. We attended all the keynote presentations, media only events, and spent time connecting with as many smart home tech companies on the Explo 4 as possible. What sector is this? Hey look, robots. Everybody loves robots. Some highlights included new retractable TVs from LG, bigger and higher resolution 8K TVs from all of the top manufacturers. Ooh, ah. I need that for my basement. Some advancements in bathroom technology, including smart mirrors, digitally controlled showers, and speakers built into shower heads. That's a cool toilet too. I got steamed out of there. Look at all of that water. When it rains, it pours. Nanoleaf showed their new light switch panel, or their light, their new light panels, and gave a glimpse into the future of lighting control. C by GE rolled out smart switches that are compatible with their bulbs and will work in older homes without requiring a neutral wire. Flow by Moen helps monitor water usage and can alert you to potential water leaks. Their new smart faucet, U by Moen, is very similar to Kohler's smart faucet. Both can be controlled by voice, preheat water to the exact temperature, and can do precise measurements. Look at that greenery. Sure added some color. That are going to help you pursue your hey, look, dreams. there's Michael Phelps. Then, it's just a matter of putting it all into place. Going for it. Reaching for it. We want all children to know that anything is possible when you put your mind to it. Panasonic announced their partnership with Michael Phelps, sponsorship with the Olympics, and showed a few of the electric fleet vehicles they're sponsoring with Turbos. Delta CEO Ed Bastian described the light, the future of travel, including concept called the Parallel Reality. Ring announced a new X line of cameras, along with additional battery and solar powered exterior lights. Wazen has an automatic sliding glass door solution for your pets. And Alarm.com has expanded their product offering to monitor the water. I'm one of the product managers here at Arlo Technologies. Uh, why don't we talk a little bit about some of the great products we have now seen, the products that are also available for our Arlo Technology. Yeah, Here's the award-winning Arlo Pro 3. We actually received uh, five Editor's Choices Awards in uh, CNET Workflow Innovation. So we're very excited to talk about this. Uh, what, differentiates, what differentiates this from the original Pro lineup is that uh, we actually tore it down from the grounds up and built a brand new product to make it a revolutionary experience. Hi, I'm Aaron Amy. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Brilliant. We make the Brilliant Smart Home Control, which gives you touch and voice control over all of your smart devices. And today we're launching two additional products, which are the Brilliant Smart Dimmer Switch, which, get, which extends the Brilliant Control's capability to give smart lighting and scene control, plus motion control all through the house. There were plenty of smart locks available, including locks that use biometrics in addition to keypads, standard locks, and remote control via smart home app. So 
Also, yes, uh, welcome to, to Air Things. So, um, we're the leading provider of uh, indoor air quality monitors. So, we have uh, um, simple to use uh, air quality monitors that measures uh, everything from radon gas in your home uh, to CO2, VOC, which actually shows how fresh the air you have there is, and also chemicals in the air. So, you can wave to the product just to get an indication, uh, or you can. Um, Use the app on your phone, uh, dashboard on your computer where you get all the data. It will tell you what you can do about any issues you have with your indoor air. Basically, every appliance we saw is now connected, and many, such as LG's ThinQ line, feature an artificial intelligence. Stay tuned to feature episodes for additional that booth footage awesome. and hands on reviews of some of the topic Go products ahead. we saw at CES 2020.